please welcome, live from Marion Square, member of the International African American Museum Board and Mayor of Charleston, South Carolina since 2016, Mayor John Tecklenburg. Charlestonians, honored guests and friends all, I'm deeply honored to be with you this morning in celebration of the opening of the International African American Museum and of the long, tragic, but ultimately hopeful story that it tells. For what could be more hopeful, more outrageously, unbelievably, unimaginably inspiring than the story of a people who loved the dream of America, the dream of a place on earth where all men are created equal with God-given rights and the dignity of democracy. And that people refused defiantly to stop dreaming that dream. And as if it was being cruelly, as it was cruelly denied to them, Friends, we stand here today in awe of that story and in solidarity with generations of African Americans who've lived it, lived that story. African Americans who suffered the torture of slavery, the betrayal of Reconstruction, the terror of Jim Crow, the unfinished business of civil rights. African Americans who transform that pain into excellence in every field of human endeavor, from the arts to business to science and more. African Americans who face down their oppressors with courage and dignity and grace on city buses, at lunch counters, on a bridge in Selma, in a hospital right here in Charleston, and who, in so doing, rekindled the promise of America for men and women all over the world. Of course, we Charlestonians, both white and black, know that story because it's our story. Every tragedy, every triumph, every whip of the lash, and every small halting step towards progress. Those moments are our moments, our past and our present, etched into the details of every historic building you see and alive in the chambers of every human heart. That is why, that is why it's so fitting and so vitally important that we host the museum that tells that story here in Charleston, right here, where it happened, and where we can all bear witness to the heartbreak, but yes, the hope that is its legacy. In closing, I'd like to offer my deepest thanks to everyone who worked so hard to bring this magnificent new building, museum to life. Your tireless efforts over more than 20 years have made this day possible. And your extraordinary vision of a great building in a great city where people of every background can share and discover this deeply moving, deeply American story of a dream, yes, denied and deferred, but never forsaken. This dream will inspire the world for generations to come. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the city of Charleston and all her people. Thank you, God bless.